In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of the camera system in iClone 4. First of all, I want to point out that this is the preview camera that we're viewing now, and it's only meant for previewing the scene, not really meant for actually capturing the action. To actually have a camera designed for capturing the action or for images, let's go to Stage, then Camera, then press Add. And notice now we have added in a camera named Camera01 at the same position that the preview camera was at. Let's go ahead and add another one in so we have Camera02. If you wish to select between your cameras, you can just click on this little arrow and you can choose between any of the cameras that are in your scene. So here's the preview camera, Camera01 and 02. Let's go ahead and click on Camera01 and then use our Pan it tool to pan that camera around to behind the character. But notice over here, we have a small doodad. That is actually camera 02. That's to help you keep reference of where your camera is. But you can't actually click on it and move it around. The only way you can move a camera is by selecting a camera in the camera selection menu for camera 02 and then move the camera into position in such a way. Now one thing I want to point out is that we can have cameras look at our characters and our characters to look at our cameras. To have our character look at a camera, first select the character, then go to the modify panel and we can use the section menu to find the look at and press that. Then we can have the option for the character to look at the camera. So let's go ahead and say look at camera and now she will look at camera 02 and we can adjust the weight to be more of her face or her entire head or do we want the eyes to converge inward or outward or just stay the same. Now, wherever we move camera 02, you'll notice the character's face will remain pointing at where the camera's angle is. We can also do the same with our cameras. Let's go to camera 01, and we can have our camera always look at our character. So notice now I've panned up to where the character's head is at the bottom of the camera's view. But if I tell the camera to look at the character, we can say pick target and choose our character. And now, Everywhere I move the camera, it will always be focused on her head. Another cool thing about Look At is that when a character is walking along with animation and we have Look At, say for instance for Camera 04 Look At, you'll notice that the camera will look at her as she walks through her animation. Notice I have Camera 05 and I wish to link my camera to my character. So I can just go to linkage and pick parent and click on the character. Now when the character walks along through her animation, the camera will move along with her because it is now linked to the character. So let's press play. And notice that since I had linked it to her head and as she moves along, the camera seems to bob up and down. If you wish to change that and actually have the camera to be stable as it moves, instead of linking it directly to her head or any of her bones, Let's link it to her bone root. That way as she moves forward, the camera will follow her position, not necessarily the animation of her bones. So let's go ahead and press OK. And then we can play the action again. And notice that as she moves forward, the camera will move forward too, as it is linked to her bone root. Now let's add in some animation for our camera. Notice that we are still at time frame 01. If I move the scrub along the timeline to this position, I can create an animation of the camera panning around my character. So from this point to this point, the camera will move from its original position to this new position looking at the character's front. So let's go ahead and press play and watch. Notice how the camera moves and that its focus remains on the head because we told the camera 01 to always look at the character's head. And once it gets to that point, it will stop. And that's how we can create camera animation for our cameras. Now, if you wish to have cameras switch between each camera from camera 01 to camera 02, let's say from whenever camera 01 gets to about this position, we want it to switch to camera 02, it's very simple. To do so, just open up your timeline. Then go to our list of content and click on camera switch. Then we can click on the switcher. So here, let's on frame 0, we choose that it starts with camera 01. And then at frame 240, which is about this position that we had on the timeline scrub, we can change it by right clicking on it, go to camera list and camera 02. 
That means to this keyframe in our timeline, the cameras will automatically switch from camera 01 to camera 02. So let's go ahead and stop, close down our timeline, and let's press play and watch how it moves. So once it gets to about this position, it will switch from camera 01 to camera 02. And notice since we're using camera switch, you can see camera switch is selected here. If you wish to continue to only look at camera 01 or 02, you can click here and choose the camera. But the actual recorded animation for the cameras will be in camera switch. So you have to decide which camera you wish to use to preview your scene. Next I want to show you is clipping plane. So let's add in a third camera. This is camera 03. So I'm going to bring it back to the original. From camera 03 we can see the background of those buildings in the distance. Now if we change the clipping planes to say 10, you'll notice that we'll basically erase everything from our scene. But as I increase the clipping planes, you'll start to see how more and more of the scene can be revealed the farther out I push the clipping planes. This is something that can help you with your computer's rendering system to know how far away it should render things or not. Notice that I set it at 700 and we can see the buildings in the distance instead of at 9999. This will help with the computer for rendering out the scene so that your resources will be saved. And that is the basics of the camera system for iClone 4.